Hello fellow wanderers, I'm Endry, and thank you for joining me as we wander through a bit more of EQ Titan, a new player tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Glooming Deep starter quest that will get you your first charm and get you out to POK. Now, full disclaimer, I don't really recommend going through the entirety of Glooming Deep, so if it's the first time you've experienced that content, you might want to take just one of your groups through and, and mess around in there and see what it's like. But for the most part, I'm going to be assuming that most people will just leave Glooming Deep after they've got the first quest done. So, first thing you want to do after you log in is get your uh, characters into a group. Um, I covered that in a couple videos back, so if you need to know how to do that, go ahead and check on that. And then we're going to start looking around for what we need to do for our quest. So, if you hit Alt-Q, if this window's not already open, you're going to see a quest log here and it's pretty much useful here in Glooming Deep and for a couple of other quests out in the world that I don't usually ever recommend doing but for the moment we're going to want to you know do this. So it's going to give us some instructions here. First step is actually to hail Arius over here. So let's get everybody following here. Let's do a slash follow on and then I'll get everybody coming along with me. Go over here and we need to hail him. So let's click him and do a bark and then just type hail. And now he's going to update the quest and I'll tab over to one and take, let you take a look. You see here, they've all turned green here. So they're all good for that particular quest. And now we're gonna move on to step two. So now we need to find someone named Absor. Now, where do we find Absor? Let's see here. Ah, here he is by the fire. Let's walk over to Absor here, click him, and let's do another bark and then just type in hail. And your people are going to run forward, they're going to hail him, and that'll complete that particular step. Uh, you can hand him your starter weapon here, and he'll actually upgrade it for you. So I'll just show you here. Click him, hand it over, and he upgrades it to a sharpened sword. It's still a really bad weapon, but don't worry about it too much. We're actually going to replace those with Twilight weapons a little bit later, and I'll be doing that in a few videos from now. So now that we've got that done, let's move over here, and we need to find Valara. Oh, there's Valara, that's the uh, cat person over here, right next to Arius. So wander over here, we're going to do a bark hail, press enter, and oh, we did get an update for this quest. You actually have one more step you have to do. So she says, let's see here, others. So let's do bark others. Aha, that updated it. Now, we've got a item on our cursor now. And there's a couple of ways you could deal with this. You could do a BCAA slash slash auto inventory. You can see that's gonna dump it into your actual arm slot up there. And if you look at your other characters, I'll have it. Uh, also the E3 macro has an auto inventory function built in where after about 30 seconds, it's actually going to auto inventory for you. All right, now we need to find Zanadia, Zanada. So let's move around and it's the Dark Elf here sitting next to Absor. Let's go ahead, Bark Hail. Now this is probably the most annoying part of this entire quest. So after you hail her, she's gonna say, I need a mushroom. Well, I haven't found a really good way to have everybody pick up the mushrooms. And the other thing is they don't spawn very fast. So we're gonna do a slash stop, leave everybody here and let's take Endry here. And if you wanna find the mushrooms, look for this barbarian guy next to this ramp here and look down and there's a couple mushrooms there. You pick it up, it looks like a gem, you run it back over and if you're quick enough it won't auto inventory on you. Click her, click give and she'll give you a potion. I recommend just destroying it. It's really, it's not a very good potion, it's not very important. And now we're going to have to do the rest of them. So what I recommend if you're doing alt tab instead of hotcut keys to get through your uh, characters, go ahead and do alt tab and just find the last instance and start with it, and that way you can work your way up from there, and it's easier to keep the order of your characters in mind. I'm gonna roll over, grab a mushroom, run back. And we're gonna do this several more times, and I do actually have to do this on my characters, but for the moment, I'm actually going to move on. As you can see, you're just gonna do this over and over and over again until you've gotten all six done. Once you're done, do another follow on, and move on to the next step. So we need to find right hand. Well, right hand's right over here. So you've got the fire here, turn around, you'll see right hand, the erudite, and we're going to bark hail. All right, we've all barked hail, and now we're going to bark blessed. 
Now, for some of your characters, what this is actually going to do is give them a spell. So let's see, Dreamwalker here. It's going to put a spell on their bar. So go ahead and do a BCAA auto inventory. Remember, two slashes before slash commands when you're doing BCAA. Helps if I can actually spell. That'll put their spell down in their inventory, and we're done with him. It gives you a little buff, but it's a pretty minor thing, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And now we need to find Prathen. Prathen is the halfling. So if you look at the fire over here, you've got Prathen. So we're going to do Bark, Hail. And these guys do actually give you a bit of a tutorial. If it's been a while since you've, you know, done anything on EverQuest, you know, you go ahead and read their text. Um, most of it's pretty basic, though, how to use group and say and that sort of thing, how to open up your map. M button, by the way, on default. And now it says, go to Arius and hail him and let him know that we're all done. So let's see here. Here's Arius. I'm going to walk over here. Bark. Hail. And hey, you're all level two now. Isn't that great? So go ahead, do a BCAA slash slash auto inventory. And the whole reason we did this was to get this Kobold Charm. Kobold Skull Charm goes in your charm slot. It's five to your relevant stats. 10 hit points, 10 mana. It's the only charm you're going to have until you start to do planar progression or do a lot of the Lost Dungeons of Norath content. Uh, you can also do the Silverwing quest. It takes a very long time to do the Silverwing quest. So uh, for the start, hey, it's a free 10 hit points, 10 mana, and five to, all you know, five to your relevant stats. So go ahead and grab it. Well, that's all we have to do for this particular quest. But before you go, there are some things you should keep in mind here. I'm going to do a slash stop. I'm going to show you the rest of this entry area here. In particular, if you go over here, you've got spell vendors. The nice thing about these spell vendors is they pretty much have all of your spells level 15 and below. So you don't have to go running around POK. You don't have to go running around uh, different in uh, zones to find uh, rare spells. Um, so if you have a little bit of plat or someone hands you some plat, uh, it might be worth it to come back here to pick up the spells for all of your characters up through level 15. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, hunting them all down later. With that said, a couple other things you might want to do before you leave Gloomy Deep. I highly recommend getting rid of the lantern. I highly recommend getting rid of that arm piece you were given. They're pretty garbage and you're going to want to use Twilight Armor instead. Uh, now, mind you, if you don't intend to do the Twilight Armor, then, you know, keep the lantern, keep the arm piece. But uh, to be honest, uh, the Twilight Armor is not very expensive. It's about 70 to 75 plat per character, uh, depending on charisma. And generally, if you ask or you say in OOC that you're a new player, people will usually be willing to give you some money. Uh, I mean, when I first joined, I said I was new and people were sending me tells without me even asking, uh, asking if they could give me anything. You know, with all things... Be considerate. Don't go begging for money, but, you know, say, hey, I'm new to the server. Can anyone give me a hand? And, you know, say, you know, you see the video that shows you how to do the Twilight Armor. You're just looking for some, you know, money for your Twilight Armor and some spells. And I can almost guarantee that someone will respond with, yeah, here, here's a little bit of cash. And then probably hands you a bunch of items that you could not possibly get on your own at this level. Uh, but, you know. Uh, people on the server are actually really, really nice. So don't be afraid to talk in out of character. Remember, it is global. So say things in OOC that you want everyone on the server to read. You know, be considerate and go from there. So once you're done there, head over to Arius here with everybody and then bark at him and say leave. You'll zone into POK and you'll be at the uh, person who can send you back here. So when you get to the other side here, which you'll see in a second here, uh, there'll be an NPC in front of you. If you want to return to Glooming Deep for any reason, you just bark ready at her, and you're ready to get started. With all that said, I think we've basically covered everything we need to do with the Glooming Deep newbie tutorial. And like I said, if you want to go through the entire instance, go ahead. It's designed around having a single group, not all uh, 18, 24, how, however many characters you've got. So if you're going to do it, I recommend you do it one group at a time. It won't take you particularly long. It does get you a few levels and some platinum, along with some starter gear, while, which is not great, is uh, definitely better than having nothing in your inventory slots. So with all that said, I think we're going to wrap this up for here today. And uh, next time we meet, I will meet you here in front of Shadini. Uh, like I said, if you just tell her ready, she'll tend you, send you back. The slash bark works just fine for that. 
but next time, uh, we're going to go over uh, picking up the uh, Twilight Armor pieces, and uh, then we'll go over the uh, buff bots that are in the guild lobby. Uh, also at this point, I'm going to be starting a, another set of EQ Titan tutorial videos. Uh, these will be Touring EQ Titan, and this is going to be for zone tours. So uh, expect to see up in the near future a tour of the Plate of Knowledge here, the guild lobby, and the bazaar. That way you'll know where you're going in the other tutorial videos where I mentioned certain specific places in the Plane of Knowledge and the Bazaar. So, until our paths cross again, have fun and be safe out there, everyone.